Imagine, if you will, sitting down to your morning coffee, turning on your home computer to read the day's newspaper. Well, it's not as far-fetched as it may seem. In fact, both local San Francisco papers are investing a lot of money to try and get a service just like that started. Science editor Steve Newman reports that one person already used Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my office. I know you have all been asking to see more of my home and do a little interior tour, so um, that's what the video today is all about. So if you want to see inside my office, just keep watching. This is my office. I had it all custom built for the space. During the renovation of the house, we um, literally took the whole part of this room down really. All of the new windows were new, the ceiling is new, the cupboards are all new, the floor is new, literally everything you see here um, we designed for this space. I worked with an architect for um, the whole project in the house and I'll link them down below and um, a specific joinery company did um, all of the joinery that you'll see inside my office here. And then a different company did the construction and did the painting. Um, so if you're interested in any of that stuff, I'll link it all down below. The cupboards um, are all glazed and they're based on kind of a historic style. I looked at the Soane Museum um, in London and I loved all of the kind of built-in cupboards there and the details that they put in. I actually originally intended to put a mirror into these slips, which is um, very Sonian, but I still haven't really decided. I think I might put it in in the future and I might also put blinds in here. I just, I've only really been in the house for 18 months, so I feel like I'm still kind of settling in and putting things into the cupboards and, and deciding how I want things to look. Um, but basically, this is the space that I work and create a lot of my content in. I do have an office um, that does all the admin side and I go there a couple of times a week, but this is, this is really the hub where I work from most of the time. So I wanted to make it a place that I felt really comfortable and I felt um, that it was a beautiful space that would make me kind of want to spend time in it and be creative in it. So I've designed everything inside the cupboards to fit all of my products. So literally all the printers, the camera kit, the Apple computers, there's even like a shelf behind my computer where um, all of the hard drives sit, all of the drawers that hold like pens, each of the slots are designed to like hold my note paper. And so the whole thing was really kind of carefully thought out so that I wouldn't have kind of anything messy out all the time. I wanted things to kind of be in their right place and keep things tidy. Um, obviously offices and desks get messy anyway and I did have a tidy up before you came and it's still not perfect. So um, I think that you kind of have to live in a space a little bit too, but I try to keep it as neat as possible. So the two cupboards are broken up. One side is pretty much purely decorative, the side here. Um, it's got a load of antique china, some of it I bought, some of it was a present from my mother. And um, then behind it, I keep all of my Vogue and Elle and, and kind of house and garden and veranda magazines, ones that I've wanted to collect, I keep in, in the shelves behind the china. Um, and then underneath, I keep my printer and um, my kind of camera gear and stuff like that. And then to the left, there's a sink. Um, I bought that copper sink from Morocco and um, I wanted something a little bit different so I wanted all copper in there and I love having a sink in here because my office comes off the drawing room and it's really nice if you're serving drinks to be able to like get some water or throw the drink that's finished away, also to get water to water all of these plants that I'm obsessed with. So it's just really useful, it's something that a lot of people I think don't think about but it's actually really useful to have a sink um, on your kind of living floor space because this is a house on multiple floors so it doesn't, you'd have to go up and down stairs to get water otherwise. Um, and then I have my Hermes teapot in there um, which is like a collector's piece for me because it's got a peony on which is really special. And then I also keep little paintings from um, friends that have given them to me and painted them for me as well. Um, then in the other cupboard is my desk and all of my books, more tech gear which is hidden in all of the cupboards. Um, in the bookshelves I've got all of my magazine cuttings on the top um, which is just something I, I keep from my career. It's not something I really look at but it's nice to keep you know for kind of future family and stuff. Then I've got all of my academic books from when I was doing my degree, all of my art history books um, and then I've got just kind of novels that I've read and travel guides and other random books that I, I will keep all of them in the cupboard like that. And then obviously I've got my plants, I wanted loads of plants in my office and I wanted them in my drawing room and I wanted it to feel like a really warm 
kind of light green space. I feel like plants are so good for you to be around as well. So, and because this is a conservatory, there's big um, glass light in the ceiling, which you'll see. Um, it's just a really perfect place to have house plants because they're getting loads of light and sun. So I want these to grow really big and like come up and over the ceiling. So I'm trying to look after them and make sure that they grow well. And then at Chinese New Year this year, my mum gave me these little orange plants, which are so cute and they're in bloom at the moment and they smell absolutely amazing. The blossom smells amazing. So I, and I have a little bonsai tree that's behind there and some orchids that are kind of rejuvenating and stuff. So I kind of keep it almost as a little greenhouse area in the back here as well. And I would normally have a candle burning in my office or in the room adjacent just to have some kind of nice fragrance. This one's from NARS, but um, I'm quite fickle with candles and I go between brands a lot. But then there's this mirror. I take some of my outfit shots in this mirror. You've probably seen it on Instagram. This one, I think, is from Graham Green, but I will link it below for you. Um, and then I've got my footstool. This one I actually brought back from Hong Kong with me. I'm using it as a little side table here. But um, I think you can get something similar on Ochre. So I will find, if I can find links to anything, I'll put them below for everything. These um, are some little copper plant pots. And then um, I've got some paintings that I was given by some um, beautiful botanical artists of peonies for me. This chair I bought at an antiques fair. It had a completely different fabric on it. It was really kind of decrepit. And I had it recovered with, I bought a whole load of vintage coats on eBay and they recovered it with different coats. So the, it doesn't actually match. It's not all the same leopard, um, but it, it was just a nice way to kind of upcycle something. Um, and then the paint finish in here is the same that runs through this floor. So it's a dragged paint finish. So that blue runs throughout this floor and then all of the cupboards are painted in French gray by Little Green. And the floor was also um, a custom floor made for me. I copied a historic pattern. The lantern in here is from Jam, which is one of my favorite lighting companies. They also have beautiful antiques. Inside the office cupboard, I have hidden the air conditioning unit and also it heats and cools. So that's what's behind that gold grate in there. And so I even chose everything down to the knobs and hardware that are on all of the cupboards here. Because I'm a Leo, I chose little lions um, to be the faces of all of the doorknobs. And then I chose these acorn escutcheons, which I love. Um, they're so cute. And the tassels that hang from the keys are one of my favorite things in my whole home. They're quite hard to come by. I bought them from a beautiful design shop in Venice. My mom gave me an original one, which is on the door when I opened the door, which is beautiful and huge. And I was so obsessed with it when we went to Venice the next time I bought a load so that they could hang off the different doors. It's still a work in progress. I have um, one of these back assistance chairs that helps you um, to sit forward. You, it's on a kind of rock and your knees go into the pads, which is much better for your back. And I've honestly not had any lower back problems since I've had it, but it doesn't really go with the color scheme in here. So I really want to paint the legs to match the cupboards and reupholster the seat also to match other things on this floor but we just haven't got around to it yet. There's loads of DIY projects in the house to still do. So pending, and then I will show you what it looks like before and after probably when I've done that. But I hope this was what you were, were looking for. Um, I've done my best to kind of make it personal to me and, and make it a special space for me to work from. So I hope you enjoy seeing it. Thanks so much for watching guys and come back next week for another video here.